High Plains Prospectors here, Turp, Scrap Iron, Drew, he's our director, and then we have Brett Thompson behind the camera. Uh, today what we're going to do, we, uh, we work in the prospecting business, we sell supplies at highplainsprospectors.com. Very frequently we get customers that come in that travel all over the country, they bring gold bearing material to us. Not a lot of it has a lot of gold in it, but we got really lucky this time we had a customer from California bring us in some rock that is very attractive. Come over here and take a look at it. I'm gonna move over here into the sun actually. This is one piece in particular that we're gonna break down. You can see the gold in it glistening. There are a lot of other different types of minerals in it. We're not sure exactly what's in here. We know there's some silver, we know there's some gold. There's a possibility in some of it that there's diamonds or kimberlite. Uh, what we're going for today is gold. We have a couple other really attractive pieces here. You can see the gold running through it. One of my favorites. It's almost a shame to break it up, but we're gonna do it anyway. This has a little gold vein running right through it there. We have some really big pieces and then we have some small pieces. The bigger ones are gonna be a little bit harder to break up, but luckily we have good rock crushing equipment that we'll be able to do that with. And we have a lot of material here, relatively speaking, that we're gonna be sampling through. And this came from a couple different mines? Yeah, a couple different mines. So you can see there's a little bit of different, um, different types of pieces here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you guys a couple different ways to process this material. And uh, we have, we sell both of these uh, mortar and pestles on our website, highplainsprospectors.com. And the smaller one, this is really good for sampling. You know, if you're out prospecting, you think you found a little area that has uh, some gold bearing rock in it. Uh, sampling small amounts, it's more of a manual process. Um, we also have a pneumatic rock crusher. This is the Thor rock crusher we sell at High Plains Prospectors. And then we also sell a mortar right along with it. Um, you use a pneumatic air hammer with it. Um, very effective. You're going to see here pretty quick. It crushes rock really quick and it pulverizes it to really small pieces. Uh, one important thing to know about this whenever you're doing it is to have a really good air compressor. Um, you're, ne you're not going to break the rock crusher. Uh, but the air compressor will be your limiting factor. If you use a small pancake compressor, it's not going to last very long. You need something that's going to have some wherewithal that's going to be able to give you a little bit of time behind the hammer in order to crush a lot of rock down. Otherwise, you're spending as much time waiting as crushing rock. So, Okay, so the first thing we're going to show is this is a small handheld mortar and pestle. And we got Drew at the helm here. So. We're gonna just kind of show you the effort that it takes in order to do this. Now, these things are really effective, so don't get me wrong, uh, but it does take a little bit of effort. You're not gonna be doing large pieces of rock. You're gonna be doing small samples, something like what you would see here. So. As you can see, it does take a little bit of effort to do, but it's still pretty effective. Show you here in a second what you get this broken down to all right so every so often what we're going to do is we're going to take out the fine material dump it into a classifier get that out of there and then we're still going to be able to we can look for any large specimens and then we'll dump this right back in and crush it a little bit more Notice Drew is using this rolling method. We call that the McIntyre method. <laughs> it helps you kind of get all, all the way around and get everything crushed up. So, you know, that probably took a minute or two maybe to crush just a little small handful of rock. The video looks edited, but it really was only a minute or two. It really was only a minute. And whenever he's got that crushed down to about like that, we can probably just dump it straight in there. Yeah, well, maybe not. We need to crush that a little bit more. And really, there's probably not going to be a whole lot in there that we're concerned about retrieving. In the name of time, we're going to probably just toss that aside for now in a separate container. But we have I a little bit tell more. you that is some labor involved in that. So we're going to go ahead and pull out the pneumatic rock crusher. We've got our compressor set up. We got our, our gun oiled up. It's really important to put some uh, air tool oil in there so they don't seize up on you too quick. 
Um, so this is the Thor Rock Crusher that we're talking about. It fits into the, basically a standard, I think it's, oh gosh, I think 0.41 inch shaft on it. Um, Put it below. Yeah, they operate at about 90 PSI. Okay. Um, and at that, it'll, I think we have a 150 max PSI on that. So it should operate for a fair amount of time without having to recharge it too much. So, all right, so we're gonna show you how to put this together. We get a lot of questions on how these things actually go into the air hammer. Um, first and foremost, you take this little spring-operated mechanism off. You take the Thor Rock Crusher, pokes right through there. Slap it on, you screw the spring on. Really simple process. We have our air compressor already charged up and ready. So we're really ready to crush some rock. All right, so we grabbed a couple little samples here that we like. I think that one's a good one. Uh, that's a pretty good one if you can see all that oh, yeah, ore in there. Let's put the iron right yeah. on top of it too. Um, really good luck and stuff. We're actually gonna throw these little pieces in here too. This one I really like I mean it has a ton of mm, good. gold in it these pieces as well we're gonna throw those in there and crush them up just annihilate this to take this thing and pound it down on the rock in order to break it up into smaller pieces. Sort of got a kind of fracture, fracture piece and then you can sort of get back into it. There you go, just like, just like that. That. All right, so we've been crushing for a couple minutes and we've got it down to that. So just like the other rock crusher, the small dusty stuff will kind of stops the crusher from being able to compress the bigger rock. So we're gonna take it over here, classify it, get all the small stuff out of there. Put this back in and crush it a little more. You can see it just crushes up the rest of what's in there. And you can also release the pressure a little bit on this gun and give it a little bit more stroke. all down below a 20 mesh eventually we'll take it down a little further we'll probably pan a little bit of this out but just kind of see what we come up with all right so we got our little panning tub set up here scrap iron he's a better painter than i am we have quite a bit of material here but we're going to just kind of take it down really quick we're going to crush the rest of it up and then we'll run it through a gold prospecting machine but we just wanted to kind of see what we're working with right now Let's stratify it really good, get all the heavy stuff down to the bottom of the pan. And we can go as quick as we want with this because we have everything kind of maintained back into the tub. We can always pan it again and see if we miss anything, but we're just prospecting right now, so kind of want to see what we're working with with regards to the quantity of gold in this material it looked really promising so we're hoping for the best here there's a lot of metallic uh -oh. stuff already in there Starting to 
see some black sand. Yeah, a lot of black there. sand. Tons of metal in there. Oh my god, look at all that. There's some gold in there, but I bet yeah. it's mostly silver. It looks like a ton. It looks like a lot of silver in there. It's like, oh, it just pieces just ran off. We'll go get them later. See a nice little flake right yeah. there. I mean, we only crushed up like maybe 30 rocks, so it's not like you. <laughs> if that, I mean, it was. Yeah, 20 smaller rocks. a nice little piece right yeah, there. Oh, yeah, I see it. There is a ton of heavy metal in yeah, there. You probably could afford to put a black sand on that area, magnet on this. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Hold on one second. Some nice Using the big orange magnet. We sell these highplatesprospectors.com. We're gonna get some of this black sand out of here. The big O. Big O. Drew, why don't you grab me another little pan to put this in? sands will be pulled out of there. I'll put this into another pan and then we'll pan this out again. All right, we're gonna get a little more of the lighter material out of there. It's kind of bunching up on us. There's a lot of dark heavy. metal in there. Probably need to hit it with the black sands again, but I think I just saw a little bit of gold. Just get a little bit more. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Don't lose that one. Yeah. Survey says... God, it's so heavy. Trying to get some of this. A little gold showing through yeah. there. And we're thinking that's probably silver, obviously some other heavy metal. It's not iron because we already took most of the black sand out. Oh, there's gold oh, nice. starting to show. Back up in there. Oh, there's some. down too much but just get all basically the most of it and then we'll go back for a major cleanup. Nice. There you go. This is our second batch. Alright, second batch right here. Starting off dry. We got several batches to do yet. Probably won't bore you with them but at the end we'll show you what we find. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Why you guys during up my water? <laughs> she is a golden doodle, so. <laughs> Planned off a little bit more, but we'll just keep going here for. Oh yeah. Let's grab the black sand magnet again. Too. Yeah, probably a good idea. There's definitely. <laughs> yeah. All right through there, you can see it. Okay, let's grab the black sand magnet. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, a lot of black sand in that yeah, one. You can tell. Make sure I get the gold out of it. Uh-huh. All right. Oh, look at that piece right there. Here's several pieces. Dang. It's nice. Yeah. Not bad. We'll keep Just working away. Some, yeah, right? Some rock down. So, we'll get our snub a bottle. Let's kind of squirt it. Kind of move that all to this. Sometimes you can tap on it. Most people use their hand. It just works that gold right back towards that ridge. And then you take your snuffer bottle and you it's kind of the best part. Nice. All right. All right, so we've been at it for quite a while. We got all of our gold in the snuffer bottle. All that we broke well, out. Well, gold and other stuff. <laughs> We got our little cleanup pan here. These little black pans work good for cleanup. Um, it has a drop bottom in it. Um, it's the old 1849. I don't even know yeah, if these are is. made anymore. I think we have a handful of them left. <laughs> That's a good one. Let's see what we got here. Just doing a little panning, rock crushing. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Got a little gold. Oh, yeah, it's a nice little line of it right there. That's not bad at all. It's hard to get a good picture of this. Not though. bad for a good day's work. For a, not for 20 rocks. Nice. Well, I think that was a successful little endeavor. The Thor Rock Crusher worked well. So did the Miller Lite. We have a little bit more material to go through. We'll probably do that off camera and then clean it up a little bit and we'll get back to you guys. Maybe we'll run it through a, some sort of processing plant. See if we can get enough to smelt down, put into a little ingot, ingot and uh, kind of see what the consistency of it is. That's no, not bad at all. Good work, guys.